what I have is what I made last week and I posted this on the page and asked people what expression they wanted me to do when I make a face this week. And I put up a choice of like a winking emoji or the one where it has its eyes closed and its tongue sticking out. So um, anyway, so two people voted and they want the one where it has its eyes closed and the tongue is sticking out, which is super fun to do. So I'm gonna spend about 15 minutes and these are kind of rough sort of sketches in clay. So this one, after I worked on it um, the last time I went live, I probably spent about 15, 20 minutes on it. And then afterwards, I probably spent at least another half an hour finishing the details. Then I let it dry and probably spent 30 to 45 minutes painting it. So just so you know, a little more work goes into it than what you see right here. But this gives you a good impression of what we're doing and can give you some skills that you can learn when you're working with clay. So again, I made a little pot using um, slabs of clay. And uh, I put a toilet paper tube in here that's wrapped in wax paper. I taped that on. And that helps because, um, hold on for a second, I'm just closing that. Um, <laughs> that helps because this will lift out. Once I let this dry, I can pull this out and um, the shape, the cylinder inside, that will all remain. And I can press on this pretty hard and it won't become misshapen because I have this on the inside. Okay, so let's get some clay out. The clay that I'm using is Crayola Air Dry Clay. And I went out and I got a bucket of the white. Last time I had the terracotta, which I really, really don't like because it makes my hands orange, which is really annoying. So um, I do like the white a lot better. So I'm just getting some of this out of here. And when you're working with clay, you always wanna put the lid back on your clay so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two balls of clay on there for the eyes. Then I'm gonna cover the eyes up with sort of a thin slab of clay so I want them to be pretty small, and the trick to getting things symmetrical is to make these first two pieces the same exact size, as close as you can get it. So you see I have that there, and I'm gonna do some scoring and slipping, slip and score. So I'm just gonna sort of rough up the surface, kind of go back and forth with my pin tool. If you don't have a pin tool, that's okay, you can use a toothpick. And I'm gonna do this on the other side of the balls. So on the cylinder and on the other side here. Then what I'm gonna do with the brush and water is put a drop of water there. You don't want a whole lot because then it gets slimy. And then I'm gonna press the pieces together and that's gonna make them adhere together really well. So just press it in. And so I'm gonna put my eyes kind of like this to the side. Okay, so I have that on. Now I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of clay, small ones, roll it into a ball, and I'm just gonna squeeze out kind of a pancake. And this is gonna lay on top of the eyes. I practiced this earlier and I just found this is a good way to get the effect of the eyes being closed. I'm making my other pancake, do a little bit of scoring on here. If you don't do the scoring and the slip, your pieces are likely to fall off. So, acts as a glue. So, I'm just gonna put that over the top like that. And whoops, forgot to score this side. All right. I have a hard little piece of clay right there. Let me take that out. So the clay I'm using is pretty close to what real clay feels like. You can't fire this clay. You can only air dry it, which means it's not going to be very durable. So I am going to be making a tongue that's sticking out of this face, and it probably will not last long. But um, if I were to fire it, 
it would be hard just like the dishes are in your cabinet that you use in your kitchen. So if you notice, I, I find that wetting my tool a bit um, helps a lot. Otherwise, you tend to drag the clay and this just helps smooth it out. So I'm just kind of putting rough shapes on right now. A modeling tool like this, these are really cheap. You can get them at Michael's. They have like little plastic sets. Um, you could also use a popsicle stick. Something like that would work. Now I'm gonna make a nose. And essentially I'm gonna make little snake like that but I want the bottom to be a little bit bigger so I'm just tapping it on the table Oops. so this is a little bit wider at the bottom so next week I'll do the same thing I will post it when I'm all done painting it and ask what expression you want me to make so make sure you check next week sometime to see if you can vote on which one you want me to do. So a little too much clay up here. I'm just gonna kind of take that off. It does help. I could be working like this, but I think that that would make it um, sort of squash down. So the pressure of my hand pre pressing up on the other side of the cylinder in a rounded way makes it so it doesn't get deformed. All right, so that's kind of a basic nose. Again, we're just doing basic shapes right now. Now I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna finish this part and then put the mouth on. I think that's probably the best way to go. Smoothing this out. So as many of you know, Janelle and I run Pop-Up Art School and we do a lot of free classes in libraries. The libraries hire us and they pay for the classes. So they um, offer them for free to the public and anyone is welcome to go to them. And we have kids for, uh, I'm sorry, classes for kids and teens and a couple for adults too. And some of the libraries are also purchasing kits. So if you live near the library, you can go pick up the kit and get the materials, which is really great. Um, but anyway, if you go to our site, popupartschool.com, we have a calendar and you can go on the calendar. And if you click on it, most of the time, as long as we've gotten to it, it'll go right to the library's website. But you do need to register even though it's free definitely have to register just so the library and knows who's coming plus they have to give you the zoom link in addition to that we um, were accepted as an organization on outschool outschool is an online learning platform and um, i've been teaching on there since april and I really like it a lot. So we're starting to offer classes there as well, different than the ones that we teach in the libraries. All right, so when you are making a face where you're sticking out your tongue and, and sort of closing your eyes, it makes the nose kind of, um, I don't know what the word is, it sort of makes it look a little smushy. So I'm making the bottom of the nose a little bit broader, get out a bit. Now, another thing I find really useful is this brush. This is not a great brush. Don't use a good brush. It's just like the cheap ones from Michaels. And I don't want it to be that wet, but that helps smooth out the surface. So if your fingers are too big for an area, this can help you out a lot. My finger was too big for that area, but that helps out a lot. Okay, 
So now I'm going to make the eyelids. It's feeling a little wet to me. I can feel it pulling on the tool. Just go in like that. You gotta let that set up a little bit. That is feeling way too wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on, actually I do need to add like little wrinkles right here because when you do it, you kind of um, squeeze those muscles together above your nose. And this clay is way too damp, so I'm not going to go too deep with this. And also your nose kind of gets these little wrinkles up there. All right, so now I'm going to do the mouth. So I'm going to roll a little snake here. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'm a little delayed. Um, what I see on my laptop is what happened probably 10 seconds previous. So I might not see it right away, but you can ask questions if you want to. I can see them. So I'm scoring the entire mouth because I'm going to put the lips around it and then inside here is where the tongue is going to go. So I need a rough area right there as well. And I have my coil right here. Just want to make it a little bit smoother. So let me score my coil a little bit. It's kind of hard to score this. <laughs> I have a tool that has like a serrated edge and I can't find it. And when I do things like this, I really wish I had it. It would make my life easier. So just a drop of water. You don't want a whole lot. Lower that down a bit. I'm not going to worry a whole lot about how this um, place where I join them together looks because the tongue is going to hang over. So that makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now I'm going to make the tongue. I always roll the clay into a ball, just so I'm not starting with kind of a wrinkled piece, because once you have a little wrinkle in the clay, you have to kind of compensate, and once you roll it into a nice smooth ball, it's a good place to start. So I don't want it that wide, so I'm pinching, but I'm also squeezing over here, so it doesn't get oops too wide on me. I don't want it quite that thick. All right, so there's the tongue. I'm gonna cut that off. You can see I left kind of a handle on there for myself. And we're gonna score this. So once I'm done, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours. This clay is really wet. I'm, I'm gonna to have to let it sit for an hour before I work on it some more. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours when I'm all done with the face. Then I'm gonna pull out the toilet paper tube. If you do it now, it's too wet. It's gonna stick. So you don't wanna do that. 
So I just put a little bit of water there. I'm gonna put the tongue right inside there. I need a tool. I'm kind of pushing it down. Okay. So there's the tongue hanging out right there. That looks awesome. I gotta make sure it's not too long that it touches the table or, you know, when it hits the table, it doesn't hold up the rest of the piece. So, all right, that's super fun. I'm glad you guys chose that one. So don't forget, next week when I do this, I'll put another two sort of expressions up there that you can choose from. And eventually I'll probably move on to doing some animals. But as long as it's not too complicated, you know, I'm trying to get this done in like a 20 minute session. So that just makes me smile because it's so funny. All right, so I'm gonna put some nostrils in here with my tool. Oops. And unfortunately, this is really wet and I don't want to mess with it too much at this point. I really need to let it sit and dry. So I am going to stop right about here and if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comments on the post. Um, we're going to post this on the page and I'm also going to work on trying to post this on Instagram and YouTube too. So um, anyway, uh, I will see you next week. I'm not sure which day my schedule varies. So it'll be sometime in the middle of the week around sometime between five and seven, but I will post it on the page. And Janelle, don't forget, she's an illustrator and was a graphic designer. She's going to be doing a Facebook Live on Sundays at seven o'clock. Last week she did an optical illusion drawing. So thank you to whoever just uh, put a like there and um, you can join her too. All right, have a great evening. Thanks for watching, bye.